Remember that uh, in fuel injection systems, diesel fuel injection systems, there are uh, two types of uh, fuel injection pumps. Mechanical fuel injection pumps for mechanical injection systems and uh, electronic fuel injection pumps for common rail systems. This is the typical mechanical fuel injection pump in line. There are in line and rotary. In this short video clip, I am going to explain the inline mechanical fuel injection pump. As you can see in this inline mechanical fuel injection pump, we have six, six plungers, six outputs per each cylinder. This is the, the fuel injection pump for a diesel engine, six cylinders. Okay, one per cylinder number one, the second one per cylinder number two, number three, four, five, and six. This is a small engine. This is a small engine, exactly. A small engine that small engine is like a replica of the big engine in the bottom uh, is located the cam shaft of this small engine the cam shaft is a replica with the lows of the cam shaft in the same angle than the lows of the cam shaft in the big engine what is the meaning of that if the if the plunger number one in the small piston of uh, the fuel injection pump number one is in top the center Ah, the piston number one in the engine will be at top the center. This is this is this small engine is moving at the same speed, at the same speed of uh, the the big uh, diesel engine, and uh, each 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 uh, plunger uh, have parallel movement with the movement of the piston in the cylinder. This is a replica. That's, that's the engine, okay. and this is the this governor is engine. And governor, and here, uh, here is located the cam shaft. Normally, it's bolted the priming pump. You see the priming pump, the priming pump or lifting pump to bring to bleed the system and bring the fuel to the fuel injection pump. That is bolted over there and is driving by the cam shaft. One load in the cam shaft move this mechanical pump. This is a mechanical pump. Uh, is moved constantly for the cam shaft of the small fuel injection pump, or you can prime with your hand with in this handle. Exactly. And you pump the fuel, you bring the fuel, the fuel enter here from the fuel tank, pass over there, and enter here. Yeah, the fuel enter over there, pass over there, enter here. And now, in front of each plunger, in front of each small piston, you have the input, one hole, other hole, other hole, other hole, to enter the fuel in each piston, in each plunger, when the plunger is moving up and, and down. And in the back, in the other side, you have other orifices, other hole, to return the fuel on this one. And this one is the return to the fuel tank. Exactly. Yeah, that's the input to each plunger. And in the back, in the output, 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 and return from there into the fuel tank. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Remember, guys, that uh, in this type of uh, fuel injection pumps, 20% of the fuel is used, is used to produce power in the combustion chamber. And 80% of the fuel return into the fuel tank. Okay, this is the handle. Okay, why open throttle and idle ad adjustment? Those balls with the nut here, you adjust idle and wide open throttle. And this is the handle for the throttle. Yes, the cable, the cable connected here is connected with the console, with the console, with the control, the RPM, the throttle. Correct. More RPM, less RPM. In other short video, I am going to explain the governor. Correct. And this is the stuff solenoid. The stop solenoid uh, receives the power from uh, the ignition switch from the stop from the stop position in the control. And uh, when you stop the engine, uh, in this moment the fuel enter in the plunger. But uh, when this uh, stop solenoid is extended, the fuel not enter. For that reason, that solenoid is also called a stop solenoid. When you put power over there, when you apply power over there. The solenoid up, open and close, and stop. The fuel no enter. This is the function of the stop solenoid, and it's activated from uh, the stop switch, momentary switch located in the control panel, 
or from the stop uh, in the ignition switch. Uh, this is the function of, of the solenoid, the stop solenoid in mechanical fuel injection pump. Uh, what is the symptom when, uh, uh, when uh, this uh, solenoid is uh, not working? Okay, but the engine not stop or uh, the engine not start because uh, the solenoid is extended and you crank, crank, crank the engine and the fuel no enter and the engine no start. The engine crank, but no start. It's, what is the, the procedure? It's a bring power directly with a couple of alligator cables to that solenoid. Uh, operate the solenoid, try to start the engine. If the engine starts, it's because the engine is not receiving, uh, the solenoid is not receiving signal from the ignition position or preheat during the cranking procedure. Okay. If uh, the solenoid, the stop solenoid, is uh, uh, contract, uh, the fuel enter in the fuel injection pump through the priming pump, and the fuel enter through the input port in front of uh, each uh, plunger, and uh, the fuel is uh, uh, pushed at a high pressure through the lines, and uh, enter into the injector, compress the spring located internally in the body of the injector and it uh, will be expressed in a, in a liquid form, atomized into the combustion chamber. Remember that uh, the, the fuel should be atomized liquid. It is vapor, produce vapor lock. And uh, only 20% of the fuel entering here uh, pass through the combustion chamber. The other 80% return to the return line on the body of uh, the injector into the fuel tank. You have a one return line here on the body of the injector. Other return here, they connect together and they go into the fuel tank. Okay, uh, this is the procedure for the part of the fuel. The fuel enter here in front of each injector. That the return to the through the tank pass through each uh, line, enter into the injector and spray the fuel into the combustion chamber. Okay, that's the path of the fuel in a typical mechanical fuel injection pump um, with a mechanical injector. 